And welcome back to Stellaris episode 5. I'm Nia Neo and let's get right to it. Let's unpause the game and see what's going on. Our construction ship is still working, building mining stations, science ship is sciencing. That's good and one ship here is was evading hostiles. But we can now send it to some other system. Let's send it up here and see what it can do. Meanwhile, we want to stock up or we want to improve our fleet and we want to get this colony that's in here. We've got a tropical world in Sirius. Let's see, only 13 big, but it's a nice position that will improve our empire. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to get this as soon as possible. But for now, there's nothing much to do. We've got... Oh, crystalline entities. They are strong. They are damn strong. Crap. But in the future, I want to kill them. But crystalline entities were strong in Star Trek as well. So it's just fair that they're strong complete. here. We've completed research. We've completed the biolabs. Oh, two research. Okay, we can start research on better lifespan, reveal alien pets, or swamp. I've got more noxious swamps than creatures, so I'm gonna go with the noxious swamp here. And for engineering, what do I want? Garanthium forge would be nice. So I can make Garanthium researches. This could be good because they are needed for some nice materials. And the other things I don't need. So let's go with this and see what we will get. In Diplomacy we've still only got the two primitives here. And this one with the direct de democracy where we have established uh, an embassy. So they should be improving. Anomaly found. Oh, sorry. I uh, found an anomaly. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization. Oh, research this. I want precursor. I want to research what came before us. And our construction ship is done. So we need money. We definitely need money. So I'm gonna go with, this is the nearest one, let's go there, Colado, and put a mining station there, let's get some more money flowing my way, because when I establish the next colony I'm gonna desperately need it. Let's see what my colonies say, this one is nearly done, this is good. And on Yenon, on my uh, main colony, this one is going and this one is done so I could build something here. And I can upgrade. I can upgrade the mining stuff, that's awesome. From 2 to 3. Do I want to do this now and have it cost stuff or do I want to wait for my colony ship? I think I'm gonna wait for my colony ship to, or for my money to be good enough to buy a colony ship. Youth Crusher. The remnants of the Youth Cruiser have been found in orbit around Distal 6. It seems to have fallen victim to weapons, weapons fire, but given the extreme age of the Hulk, it is difficult to be certain. There is no indication that the ship was ever equipped with an FTL drive. It must have traveled between the stars at sublight speed. Well, if it did this, then either they were Situation log very, updated. very long lived, or they had some some form of cryo freezing. What are gas gazers? Oh, they are some space whales. Never mind. I don't care about them. But there are hostile 
enemies in home mom. I want to get rid of them because they are in my inside my borders. I want to get rid of them in the future. But for now, nothing's happening. We just need to wait for money. So we're going to speed up the game a little bit, go to fast and see how everything develops. Let's do this. By the way, if you have any tips for me or anything you want to say to me, what way I should go in this game, I will happily take your comments uh, down below in the comment section and I will try to, survey complete. to accommodate them as good as possible. I'm normally recording two episodes at a time, so if there are some good tips or stuff like that I can usually do it in the next or in the second episode so everything's still working and money is coming in very nicely my construction ship is done and I want to build a colony ship 350 there we go build colony ship and now let's let's pause it and see what we have here. Select colonist. This colonist is xenophobia, militarist and materialist. This one is materialist and militarist. Okay, so I can either do the xenophobe. But is there a difference? 1 minus 5, 15, 10, 15. No, this is all the same, ex except that they are not xenophobe. Okay. Or not xenophobe. Xenophobia is minus 10%. Okay. Well, then of course I'm gonna go with... with these Huspulf. And let's build the colony ship. Okay, now my construction ship can't do anything, so let's send it home for now. To Yihim, or to the Yihim system at the Yenon planet. Those names, man. And what else do we have? A desert world here, not... We've got a special project here. Why can't I do this, or can I maybe do this? What's this? In limbo, an alien vault filled with data storage devices, practically bags for some hostile What now? The birth of space piracy. Certain irrational and criminal elements of our society have left Yenon to seek an outlaw life in the far reaches of space. In the display of surprising ingenuity, these brigands have heavily modified and weaponized a large number of civilian starships. Our civilian shipping lanes are now being raided by this improvised Starfleet, which identifies, identifies itself only as the Outcast Armada. A prompt response is needed. They will be dealt with. So let's pause. They've got a uh, military station here. And the pirate fleet is, uh, has a 104. Okay, I'm gonna need one more ship to be able to deal with them because 114 against 104, I don't want to do this. So, I'm gonna wait a little bit and then do this once I have more ships. For now, the science ship is just leaving the distal system and I'm gonna go explore the Yultop system here. Hopefully there are no enemies there. I'm surrounded by enemies. I really need to get my military fleet out there and start Evading shooting. Okay, now I don't like to stay. They are following my science ship. This is not good. If they follow me here, they are done. I can assure you. If they follow me to Yenon, they are done. Well, okay. My science ship is here. Hostile fleet detected. And they are following. 
Okay, so we're gonna need to go into system view. You. No, no. Uh, which one is it? You. Please go away. And my military fleet is hopefully evading hostile fleet. Able to attack them. Now let's go there Science and ship under attack. Come on, science ship, please, please survive. You can do this. I know you can. Yes, you're gone. This is good. They are gone too. What the hell? Where the hell are they going? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Follow them, follow them. If they attack my colony here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is not good. Sign ship. You're gonna go there and survey the system. And hopefully for me, my Starfleet is fast enough to do this. Okay, warp there. Yeah, they seem to be trying to get to my planet. So, let's try to engage them. This will be my first space battle if everything works. Come on, you need to attack. Follow them, attack them and kill them. Please, please kill them. Construction ship, you're at home. This is good for now. And now I'm going to... Station under attack. Pause. I want to build more corvettes here. Two at a time, this is good. And let's unpause and see what happens. Crap, my station is attacked. Well, let's hope that this station at least fires a little bit back. Anomaly found. What the hell? An anomaly in all of this? There's a debris field in ZL1845. Swirls under the influence of unknown forces, then research it. Don't bug me with research stuff at the moment. Okay, now let's see how our first battle does. We are. We have a nice good hit ratio, they have a lower one. This should hopefully work out well. So let's hope we win this fight. I don't think I can do many things. Damn, I don't have a leader here. Uh-oh. And I've only got three ships left. This is not looking too good. This is not looking too well here. Can't build a spaceport here, so. And I've only got two left. They've only they've got all of the three left. This is not good. What up is down as the neo neo contentious hatchling passed through the asteroid belt on its way to ZL1. Science officer Baraki reported that the ship experienced a number of sudden gravitational shifts. Ever curious, Baraki dispatched a number of probes to scan the debris field to discern the cause. Discern the cause. It turns out that the culprit is a number of gravity generators of old alien make, sputtering on dying energy sources and with their polarities inverted, they occasionally spew reverse gravity into the void, though not with enough force to cause any serious harm. Not anymore. Science officer Baraki theorizes that the generators once provided artificial gravity for a large asteroid in the belt, but some malfunction eventually tore the rock apart. Well, that's a disturbing thought. 
And let's see what my ships do. Come on, kill them, kill them, kill them. Yes, one more down. Only two more to go. You can do it. Come on, do it, do it, do it. You can do it, you can do it. Yes, only one left. But one of my corvettes is very, very badly damaged. Please survive. Yes, it survived. And I've got my first fleet combat status. Total damage output, 1,349. Hit ratio, 85%. The pirate fleet had a hit ratio of 61%, but did nearly as much damage. This is bad. Okay, well, let's leave it at that and get my ships back to repair them and to hopefully soon get some new ones. I've got debris here that I can research, so... Well, where are my science ships? One's way up there. The other one's doing this, I think. Yeah, I've only got a limited no uh, amount of time to do this. System survey complete. Anomaly found. Research complete. Okay, but I've got us. Okay, completed. Get this out of the way. System survey completed. Anomaly. And we've researched the blue lasers. Nice, we can upgrade our stuff now. Okay, what do I want? The physics lab. This would net me a lab that produces research that I can build. The gravitational sensors. Wait, stop this. What was this? Oh, I've got the colony ship. Okay, let's send that on the way soon. I don't need the power plant for now. Research speed is always good. Let's go with this. And the colony ship will go to series 4 and colonize the planet. Oh, this is a small planet, but I, I really do want it, so... Oh my god, and no food anywhere. Okay, so we're gonna colonize. Well, colonize here. Just do this. We, we can do this. I just want to widen my empire here. And now on Yenon there are... Okay, I can upgrade the mining network here. And on here I can finally build something. I want to build a hydroponics farm for now. Yes. Micro singularity. Wow, okay, this looks nice. A micro singularity singularity recently intersected Saldropis 4 passing straight through the core and emerging on the other side of the planet. The encounter does not seem to have caused any permanent damage but it has, it has altered the energy output of the planetary core slightly in a way that defies our current scientific modules. Further study may be warranted. Where is this planet? Oh this is nice. That's me a lot of science and a lot of physics science research, but this is too far away. So survey the next system on the list and everything's working. We're building ships, we are building buildings. Our fleet should be healed soon and then I will upgrade it. Yeah, uh, no, I really want to Merge these two fleets. Evading hostile fleet. Oh come on! Where? Who? Of course, again. Again with the hostiles. Theta aliens, 450. Damn, they are strong. Well, I should research who they really are. Maybe I will get somewhere. Okay, my colony ship is already in the system and making survey complete. its way to the planet. Okay, you've completed your system survey, so you're gonna go here and 
Research the debris of the battle that we had. This is good. Construction complete. Construction completed. Can I lay these two together? How? Merch. There we have it. And now that's the second star flock. And what are you doing at the moment? You are being repaired. Okay, that's good. For now. Construction was finished. Of the ships. Okay, I wanna immediately build Construction another complete. one. And on here. Yes, we've completed the construction. So now I've got enough food so my population will hopefully grow good enough and I can start building some more second star flock has been fully repaired okay then let's upgrade it to the newest designs encounter and Fechantris. we've encountered some form of alien vessels in the Fechantris system these strange objects have been flagged as Kappa aliens well where are they Military power. Where is Fitchen? Okay, this is here. Okay. Construction complete. We have colonized this thingy here. Well, not perfectly yet, but how long will it take before this becomes a colony? Twelve months. Months. Okay. In Fitchantris, there are. Aliens and what the hell is here? The Kappa aliens are in Jihad. Okay. Well, hopefully we haven't just colonized the system somewhere where there is, there are enemies. What are you doing? You should be surveying more systems. Okay, good for now. And you are gonna get a leader now. I want to recruit some admiral. I've got enough influence to do this. Leader experience, ship upkeep, evasion, sublift, speed and speed. This is good. That's what I want. And let's get him here. Okay, so you finally got an admiral. That's awesome. And this is nearly done. So I'm going to go with... Well, what am I gonna go with? I need money, so you're gonna go down here. And I'm gonna build you a basic a power plant for now. Complete. What now? Space amoebas. The entities encountered by our fleet some time ago are new wondrous forms of spaceborne life. Quickly nicknamed space amoeba, following an analyst's gross misreading of initial sensor output. The creature is in fact larger than the average Hasbalf Corvette. Okay. We should leave it be and remotely monitor the creature and its skin from Yenon. Okay. As long as they are not enemies, we're gonna observe them. Log updated. Ships upgraded. Okay, my ship upgraded. Construction on Yenon is completed. Can I do something else? I can upgrade this one. Upgrade it. And wait what happen wait and see what happens. This is nice. Everything's working and doing stuff. And we are already at 24 minutes. I totally forgot the time. So we're gonna leave it be for now here and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching this episode of Stellaris. If you liked it, be sure to leave a comment or click that like button. And if you never want to miss an episode again, be sure to subscribe. I hope I see you guys next time.